Hello, welcome and namaskar. We are with a more rather new case of Z test in our series of important problems from exams, and this case is of difference between two proportions. And this time again, we are with a one tail test. The problem is my favorite one. A machine produces 20 defective articles in a batch of 400. After overhauling and repairing it, that means the machine produced or the same machine produced 10 defective articles in a batch of 300. Has the machine improved? First of all, here there are two rather populations. First is production by the machine before overhauling and repairing and second population is production by the same machine but after overhauling and repairing. Okay, now the wordings. Has the machine improved? What is the criteria of the fact whether the machine has improved or not? First of all, what should be the null hypothesis in this case? The machine has not improved. Why not improved? Because we always take a null hypothesis of no difference. No difference between the proportion of defective articles before and after overhauling and repairing. There is no significant difference. That means the machine has not improved. But if this null hypothesis of no difference is rejected, then what? What should be our new conclusion? That has been given as the machine has improved. Because we need to check whether the machine has improved or not. That means if the machine has not improved is our null hypothesis, then our, our alter, uh, alternative hypothesis must be the machine has improved. Okay, what do we mean by the word machine has improved? The proportion of defective articles after overhauling and repairing is less than the proportion before overhauling and repairing. Yes, the proportion of defective, defective articles to the total number of articles produced by the machine after overhauling and repairing is less than the proportion of defective articles before repairing and overhauling. That is the proof that the machine has improved. This is less than this one. Okay. This is the case of one tail test. Because we cannot conclude that the difference is significant. If we believe that the difference is significant, that is not the proof that the machine has improved. Because the difference means this can be greater than this one or this can be less than this one or vice versa. But the direction is clear. The proportion of defective articles is less than, sorry, is less than the proportion of defective articles after and before. The proportion after repairing is less than the proportion before repairing. Then only we can say that the machine has improved. So, this is the case of one tail test. Now, let's take the machine produced 20 defective articles in a batch of 400 before repairs and overhauling and this one. So we can easily calculate the P cap 1. That is nothing. Favorable cases. This is something like probability. Favorable cases upon total number of cases. If a machine share um, produces 20 defective articles in a batch of 400 and we select one article at random, what is the probability that it is defective? So, the favorable cases would be 20 C1, that is 20. And total number of cases would be 400 C1, that is 400. So, P cap 1 comes to 0 0.05. In this case, similarly, the P cap 2 will be X2 by N2. And that is 10 by 300. So, P cap 2 comes to 0 0.0333, something like this. And the best estimate of population proportion will be P cap 1 into N1 plus P cap 2 into N2 divided by N1 plus N2. And numerator is nothing. It is cross multiplication of these two. That is equivalent to X1 and X2 respectively. So the formula can be written as capital P equals to X1 plus X2 upon N1 plus N2. Let's substitute the value because we have X1 and X2 readily available from the Question 20 plus 10 divided by 400 plus 300. So it is 30 upon 700. So capital P 
the best estimate of population proportion comes to 0 0.0429 yeah now we have all the five things which can be substituted in the formula of z value but before that let's be clear uh, at the end of the question it is given that take alpha equals to 0 0.01 Alpha 0 0.01 means level of significance of 1%. And with this, it is also clear this is one tail test. And in case of one tail test, we should not find the alpha by 2 value. And let's take the critical value of Z for 0 0.01. It is 2.326 critical value of Z comes to 2.326. Now let's calculate. Z. Sorry, first let's write null hypothesis. Very simply, it is the machine has not has not improved what do we mean by the word the machine has not improved there is no significant difference between the proportion of defective articles before overhauling and repairing and after overhauling and repairing the machine that means proportion of defective article at both points of time are equal Alternative hypothesis will be the machine has improved the machine has improved yes we need to check actually the machine has improved or not yes ok and what is the meaning of the word machine has improved? The proportion of defective articles after overhauling and repairing is less than the proportion before. So P2 is less than P1, something like this. It means P1 was greater than P2 and it means P1 minus P2 equals to 0. Okay, now Z calculate, uh, sorry, calculation of Z value. P cap 1 minus P cap 2 minus capital P1 minus capital P2 upon under root capital P into 1 minus capital P upon N1 plus capital P into 1 minus capital P upon N2. Okay, let's substitute the values and calculate. Uh, yeah, point zero five minus 0 0.0333 minus 0 for this one by virtue of null hypothesis upon under root 0 0.429 0 0.0429 very sorry 0 0.0429 into 1 minus 0 0.0429 means uh, approximately point I have rough work, let me see. No, I have not the rough work of this one. Yeah, yeah it is. 0.9571 upon 400 plus 0 0.40429 into 0 0.9571 upon uh, 300. Please be careful while calculating all these things. And ultimately it comes to 0 0.0167 upon 0 0.01548 and that means Z is 1.098 that means approximately 1.1 you can take it as 1.1 also. Now we have critical value of Z as well as calculated value of Z. Let's compare them. Z calculated, Z critical. 
Z calculated is 1.1, Z critical is 2.326. It is less. Z calculated is less than Z critical. If the calculated value of test statistic is less than the critical value, the null hypothesis is not rejected or the null hypothesis is accepted. Yes. HO is accepted. Yes, HO is correct. We believe that after testing our hypothesis in this way, that means our conclusion is null hypothesis itself. Conclusion. What is our conclusion? The machine has not improved. Yes, the machine has not improved. That means in general, the proportion of defective articles has remained the same, not much difference and whatever difference we can see is just because of sampling fluctuations or anything else, but not because of overhauling and preparing. This is the conclusion. Let's calculate P value because in case of um, Z test for now, this is the last case. So let's find P value also. What is P value equals to 0.5 minus normal area. for Z calculated that is 0.5 minus area for Z this one 1.1 and for 1.1 it comes to 0.3643 so P value for this case comes to uh, it is something like 5000 minus 3643 Yes, 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay. P value is this much larger. And the rule of comparison is exactly opposite to this one. P value. In case of one tail test, we have to compare it with alpha. In case of two tail, we have to compare it with alpha by 2. So, P value is greater. When P value is greater than alpha, we accept the null hypothesis or we don't reject the null hypothesis. So, HO is accepted. And conclusion is the machine has not improved. Okay, so ultimately it has proved that the machine has not improved and that means the difference between the proportion of defective articles before and after repairing is because of something else but not because of overhauling and repairing. This is our say, statistical conclusion. So, we discussed so many or say sufficient number of important examination problems. Yes. I have not taken each and every examination problem sent by various my old and existing students. I have tried to cover the selected which I feel more or rather most important even for your examinations. Yes, okay, thank you very much.